it never happened. So, <laughs> welcome back to the stream. I hope you're having a good night. Um, I'd like to formally apologize for making your night worse. But someone had to do it. Let's get this overlay. That's yeah, not... The fuck is this with this weird auto cropping? What are you doing? There it is. There you go. Now. Now we got it. You know, there is one Coldplay song I really like. It's called Life in Technicolor 2. And it was on an EP that they put out. I know. I know. I'll take the judgment. Silently. Or vocally. Whatever you need to do. Ness is judging me. Look at Ness's face, you can see the judgment. Here, let me put the game up a bit. Hey, Gil. <clears throat> is this how you teleport? Alright, so this is gonna be... Uh, we got plenty of time to play this game tonight. Last time was a shorter Earthbound stream, but now... Now we, we got a chance to really play. Don't know where to go. <laughs> Dalam, perhaps? Where were we last time? We were in we were in summers briefly. We did the thing. And we got poo. You were about to check out Four Sides Museum Sewer. How is this a name you are ever the helpful? Chat member. Forgot about the dinosaur museum. Let's do a goods check. Alright, that's right. I remember saying I was gonna get rid of some of this crap. Too much crap in the inventory. All right, so museum time. Oh, preempted you, Scarlet. Just as you typed that, I was already remembering that I had to get rid of battle items. So very good, very cool. Gonna buy more ticket money, or spend more ticket money, rather. Gotta buy ticket money so I can buy tickets. Vinny, you are a known hoarder. I know. That's why I have problem with games like Skyrim. Because I just, I hoard too much. I want Gordon Ramsay to do a show about hoarders. Oh, you fucking donkey. What are you keeping dirty fucking diapers in your bedroom for? Oh dear god, this is a toy from 1957! the attack roach. I'm gonna save, uh, Pooh's attacks for now. Oh my god. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta heal. Okay, good. We won the battle before he could kill Paula. Oh, what the fuck you doing with old Vienna sausages? Oh, they've got an Avengers logo on them. They're rotten! They smell! Oh god, is that R2-D2 headache medicine? Dear lord, it's from 1977. Fucking hell.
Yes, I'm at home. Croissant in a trash can. Look at his face. Stupid face. I'm gonna punch it in its face. This rat has a punchable face. Yeah, Pooh, keep doing them six damages. Pooh is not a physical attacker, as we know. I love that rolling HP shit. No, rats are good people, mostly. That rat in particular just had a particularly punchable face. Oh, you can wade in the trash. Um, I guess we'll wade. Pooh is underleveled. I know that. I have to level him, but I thought you actually said Pooh is underrated. And I forgot that I had a character named Pooh. And I was about to say mods. His only weapon literally has a 1 in 128 chance drop rate. On- on what enemy? I gotta go in that door. I won't farm for the item. But that's still not as bad as trying to get a shiny in Pokemon. God damn it. Oh, fuck it. Jeff is gonna die. Never mind. Ness just did nearly 500 damage to that fucker. Do you remember that time? In Castlevania Symphony of the Night, when I farmed for a weapon that had a particularly low drop rate. Yeah, I do too. Fucking rune sword. Let's see, hang on a second. Jeff has got some goods now. He can do some some mouse sucking. <laughs> sucking. Yeah, there's a video of that moment on Captain Southbird's channel. By the way, for anyone who is interested, Captain Southbird has some really good extra vine sauce content. Including some original stuff. But he um, does compilations of Animal Crossing. Like the best moments. And, uh, it's pretty good. Oh, there you go. Desert just posted it. Cool. Um... That, that's... That... Uh... Okay, it's, it's time to stop hoarding a bit. Ness just ate trash croissant. Uh, I'd like to give that broken iron to Jeff immediately. Water only really works on poo. Okay. Let's see if I can despawn that bug. I, I, just, I spawned trash 
and a, and a rat. God damn it. I'm not fucking around with these guys. We'll just keep attacking. Fucking sticky ass ghost. do that how to poo how to how to poo survive guts holy shit good job poo did I just use the wrong move? Oh, yeah, I did. I keep getting healing and life up confused. Nope. Alright, just a bug spawn. You know, we've made no progress thus far. I mean, we leveled up a little bit, but there's not been any progress made. So I may as well just go and get my, uh, get my health back. Good. I got a few shitty items. And some levels and experience for Pooh, so it, it was worth it. Pooh got experience in the sewer. Use the um, hotel with the hospital. You have to go to the hotel to get your health back. What the? Three hundred. <sighs> Whatever. Another slime generator. Do I need another slime generator? Four side posts. Uh, called Four Side Star. Let me read this anyway. Lucky of the Runaway Five is said to have been in a state of. Runaway Five found to have been in state House of Representatives. That's got to be a lie. Okay. How does an iron turn into a slime generator? It's because Jeff is a fucking genius. Just like Liam Gallagher is John Fucking Lennon.
<clears throat> Let's sell it. A member of our filthy chat just said, Most men come equipped with a slime generator these days. Filthy. You, you can't sell your slime generator? Okay. Pick up my shit. Sixty-four thousand dollars. Ness's rocket this is fucking a prodigy at this age. Escargo Express. I guess um. So we'll get rid of the shield generator. Maybe I can get rid of a mummy wrap, just so I don't have to, like, waste it. And, uh, what's this bag of Dragonite again? Exit mouse, um, super bomb. It turns you into a dragon. Um, okay, we're good. Vinny, what do you think of the old Nardwar interview with Blur? I think that Dave Roundtree was on a lot of drugs and alcohol at that time and was a massive dick to Nardwar, and I could see Damon's heart breaking, but he also kind of had to be... He had to kind of be a member of his band, which was breaking apart by then. I, I don't- I don't think Alex and Damon wanted to pick on Nardwar, I think that was all Dave. And, uh, it's- it's disgusting. For those that don't know, Nardwar is a dude that interviews, like, musicians, and he- he and Snoop Dogg have a pretty close relationship. Or as Nardwar is called by Snoop, Nod, the Hard, Ward. And in this particular interview, the drummer of Blur was just a massive dick. He has apologized since then, and said that he was on a lot of drugs. I think I want to fight the stinky ghost. Never mind, we're gonna fight the stinky ghost. Would it stand to reason that if you light a fart on fire, it would go away quicker? Yep, he's weak against fire. Resilient, resilient stinkiness. <clears throat> yeah, level up. Level the fuck up, Psy Magnet. Let's see what happens when I get out of the 
poop. Oh, one way or another. Okay. Fairly linear. Really? Water trash can? I'm, I'm going for... I'm going for the quick kill. Wait, that's... really? Well, Ness killed it. That was the quick kill. Wasted a lot of PP on that. That didn't do a whole lot more than fire one. On Stank Ghost. Chat, it's getting old. works particularly well on cockroaches, which is weird considering they would survive a nuclear winter. Apparently. Wow, look at all the trash down there. I got some really good spawns on the way to this trash. Rust Promoter DX. What the fuck is that? Rust Promoter DX. Causes almost instantaneous rusting when used on metallic enemies during battle. 400 points. Oh, it's only a one-use item. Okay, I was hoping it would be like a Jeff item that he could use over and over again. Waste my PP on a fucking punch rat that needs to be punched in its face. <clears throat> At least we're leveling Pooh up a bit. He's gonna need that. Okay, now that is welcome. Oh my god! Awful, awful spawns. Awful spawns. Do not want... I haven't used that one in a while. I still like Do Not Want because it came from the fucked up Star Wars translation, or retranslation, or whatever the fuck. Um, let's, let's freeze the fart. Let's see how that works. Freeze is pretty good on the on the on the stinky ghost. Ooh. Oh yeah, the fox in space clip. Oh, damn it! This mouse is a cunt. Um, yeah. I didn't actually see that footage until today. It was pretty cool. Are you, uh, 
Rub. <laughs> that was a request from Neri. And for all the help he's given me, I couldn't refuse. I'll show you the clip. I'll show you, don't worry. say again we we did spend a few hours going over the lines and and um i had never really done anything like that before like we did the lines together and he was kind of like you know giving me good direction that dude is really hands on like he knows what he wants to do frederick and uh, i think he would make a good i really do think he would do that professionally very well Broken bazooka. Oh man, I want that. Well, Jeff has to fix it first. Avianite, are you not getting notifications for my stream? If you're not, you might want to go to the YouTube channel and click the bell near the subscribe button. And that's like a better way to ensure that you get notifications. Also, maybe follow the Twitter. Because if, if you're not getting Twitch notifications, then... I don't know. I mean... I don't know. I don't know what the source of that problem is. Smash that bell. <laughs> yeah. Just smash it, fam. Oh, I feel dirty saying that. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. to do that. Well, whatever. The inventory space is cleaned up. I don't even... I don't really know what happened. I don't care. It's, it's, it's fine. It was, that was strange. He can't possibly read all this. Correct. I can't. Many times I don't wish to. But I definitely have... I scan for, for things of worth. And they're 90% japes. Finally got here. Hang on one second, guys. Enjoy the music. Just give me a sec. Back, okay. This is your fifth, your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. I think this is the quickest we've gone from one to the other. Oh my lord. Plague Rat of Doom also looks like a right cunt. Alright. Let me see what I can do here. Um, let's try a little paralysis first. Um, I am going to 
use the shield on all of us. Jeff is going to use spy. What's up, bro? What, what, what are you looking for on Bing? Bro? That's that's the Bing guy's face. It turns out this whole time he was a rat, <laughs> which is why he's been trying to like push the rat porn on you. It all makes sense. Doesn't say what he's weak against. Fire. Um, suck that HP. Oh, Pooh has uh, the all uh, the all shield from physical stuff. I think we probably might be okay. Think any it doesn't really have a specific weakness it's just okay it's just a matter of do, doing good fight to make it crusty with some slime generation. I still don't know how to make mirror work. I don't think it works on bosses though. Um, still working on that. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna make Poo useful and, and just cast regular shield now. Oh, it actually worked. This is the slime strategy. Slime strats worked. Bazooka fixed. I wanna get my fucking bazooka! Heal Ness eventually, don't worry. Eventually. Conserve a little bit. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll slime again? came in really handy. Um, maybe a good idea to heal Ness. Just as a precautionary measure, really. you say this game's strongest point is so far? Gameplay, music, story, characters. I like the... just the, the world, the writing, the, the, the weirdness of it. The weird is what's making me really love this game. And that includes the music. Maybe that's a cop-out answer, but that's, that's how I believe... that's really what I believe.
11 is not really a whole lot, but it's good to clear up the inventory room. Okay, that worked. I, I do think that the gameplay is pretty okay. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's just traditional RPG fare with a few extra elements. I like the rolling HP. Uh, uh, what else do I like? It's it's a simple battle system. So yeah, I like it. But I would say that the, the stronger aspects of the game are, are the atmosphere, the music, and the... Um, the story. Well, there, it's, I mean, the story is kind of basic at times, but that works in its to its advantage because of all the other cool stuff that's going on, all the little side quests and weirdness and mysteries. It, it just kind of, um, it all works together nicely. The fuck is that? Giant salt? Did I play Mario Kart here? Ness saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Ness... Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of a magnet... of Magnet Hill. Oh, that's Magnet Hill. Carrot key? Okay. Um... Baby bottle? <laughs> Who's having a baby? I don't even dare answer that question or attempt to come up or conjure an answer. Cockroaches tremble before me. Wait a minute, what the fuck am I doing? Cannot teleport. Are you what? Are you stupid? What are you, what are you talking about? You can't teleport. What do you mean you can't teleport? Okay. Well, we did this already. What the hell's going on? Taking uh, the long way back. Oh, that's a full heal. Okay. Exit mouse. Yeah, I've been hesitant to use the exit mouse because I figured at some point it's gonna come in real handy. And if I use it now, it's just gonna be superfluous and stupid. Let's use it. Is that what that is? That's- that's give peace a chance. Hang on a minute. So, people were saying it sampled a John Lennon song and I didn't know what the fuck it was. But now I know which one- it, you said it, now it makes sense. It's the strumming pattern. Uh-oh. 
pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Just one time, I don't want to say Fuzzy Pickles. Obviously, we're gonna get a motherfucking bazooka. Be not as Shamrock are. Do you want to slumber? KO! You need 45 IQ for the bazooka. How's, how's it looking, Jeff? What do you got? 40. Alright, we're not ready yet. We'll come back there when we, uh... have that. Jeff only has 40 IQ. And that's a genius in this world. I really like the way Dalam looks. Just the way the, the everything is tinted, all the colors. It's just a simple little thing that really makes the place feel better. More cool. Pictures taken instantaneously! No, I won't say it. I won't say it. <laughs> Prince Pooh, you're my new favorite. All right. Telephone. No! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, they just take it instantaneously. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. <laughs> Look at the camera and say. My name. His his name is Fuzzy Pickles. Maybe that's why he's so adamant that I say it. All right, say Krusty Jugglers. Say it. Say Krust Jugglers. Dude's still farting. Some say he's still farting to this day. Like you don't know what part of the juggler is crusty, Reg. You you know. Ness is homesick. Oh fuck. All right. Well. 
I was just about to do the thing too, but uh, I have to go back into the palace to, to get the telephone. Sanctuary cures homesickness? Wait, really? So I'm a cu I don't have homesick anymore. Sanctuaries cure any status ailments. Fuck, I wish that wasn't like 30 seconds behind. I would've wouldn't have had to come all this way. At least you get to hear the jingly bells. Strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits. Well, it just so happens I got what you need. How strange, the rabbits and carrots disappeared all at once. Okay. What's your favorite console, Vinny? Uh, SNES. I have, I have a few close seconds, but SNES is probably the, the winner for me of my favorite console. Some pretty cool new music. Fuck. The Franklin badge killed the thing. This is the place to grind for Pooh's gear. Really? These fuckers? <laughs> what is this? What is this enemy? It's so fucking weird. It's playing a little flute. It looks like Sinbad from his movie Shazam. Where he played a genie. Or Mr. T. Yeah, people in chat are saying Mr. T's sperm. Sure. You can grind for the Bracer of Kings here, but the Sword of Kings is later, okay. Bracer is in a chest. Oh, okay. I don't mind little spoilers like that. Not really even spoilers, but just kind of general piece of, pieces of equipment advice. That makes the game go a little more smoothly for me, and I, I enjoy it. Being able to uh, know where all the stuff is. Even if I never end up grinding for the Sword of Kings. Lips. I just think that a lot of people forgot the game and just, just... kind of started remembering weird stuff. Like, oh, you gotta grind for the Bracer. No. If I set them on fire, does that make them... Flaming lips. She don't use jelly or any of these. She uses Vaseline. I kind of hated that song when I was a kid. I actually really hated that song when I was a kid. I don't know what the hell happened.
Like, I didn't like Wayne's voice. I didn't really particularly like the way... It was just a really silly song, and then I got older and I was like, oh, I kind of love this song now. It's like broccoli. That song was like broccoli. Use the slime generator on the lips. Go down. I'll go down. Just, uh... I wanted to see if there's anything in that... ...thing to the right. Uh, to the left. The hole all the way to the left that I didn't go down. Did I miss anything in that hole? Should I bother going back up to it? Whose thing is in that hole? Maybe. I don't know, that might have been just a, just misinformation. Or just someone talking out their butt. Uh, I'm just trying to... I'm not trying to give them, like, rug burn. I'm, I'm really just trying to despawn all this crap. Wow, the, the enemies just do not want to despawn. We're gonna go back to the hole. So, any Flaming Lips fans, did you hear the new album? Ozki Melody, or whatever the fuck it's called. Which I think they, they wrote Cozy Melody and misspelled it. And they were like, yeah, just leave it. Whatever! Wayne turned into, um, into Rich Evans' George Lucas. It was just like, whatever. You heard it, it's pretty alright. It's a shame that their albums have to be pretty alright these days, and not as amazing as they used to be. Didn't they collab with Miley Cyrus? Yeah, they've been, um... They've been collaborating with Miley Cyrus for a while. And this particular album is... yeah, she's on the album. Because, I mean, there's nothing Flaming Lips fans want more than Miley Cyrus on their new Flaming Lips album. I was open-minded. I heard the single with her on it. I was open-minded. I tried. I don't, I don't get it. That's that's sadly been my kind of my deal with the Flamey Lips in, in recent years. It's just been it's pretty much since Embryonic, and I like some of Embryonic, but since then it's been a just I don't I don't get it. Gold Ruby, I swear to God, I'm going to fucking do a stone cold stunner on you. You're you're getting worse than Rick. And that's all that takes a lot of effort. Don't be that guy. B B B how is this a name?
I was trying to think, what is the thing that um, Bret Hart does? Uh, I was trying to think of the uh, the move that he does. What the fuck was his move? I couldn't think of it, so I just- I, I got- Stunner was the only one that I could immediately think of. The sharpshooter? That's one of them. Not the rusty trombone. Okay, how is this the name? I rescind what I had just said. The heart attack. Yeah, it was the sharpshooter. There we go. Ah. Oh my god. This <laughs> is people getting electrocuted. I love that an enemy in this game is a stinky trash can. There's fucking dirty hippies. There's people getting electrocuted. There's coffee. Hot coffee. Candy. I was really hoping that was going to be homeboy's item. Let's see what's rock candy again. Speed, guts, vitality, or luck. It's kind of a uh, take a chance. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so here's the whole crew. I'm gonna do a full Psy Gaming. Fuck his brain shock. Time I've seen that. It's pretty good. Use the candy with a packet of sugar to boost its effect. All right, good info. Well, there it is. I didn't get his thing. I didn't get Pooh's thing. But you know what? It'll be easier once I defeat this dude. I'm gonna use some of these things in this fight, I think. <clears throat> I think. You finally got here. This is the sixth your sanctuary location. Man, we are making progress on these sanctuaries. Fuck. This thing. Thunder and storm. going on here. Freeze is good. Oh, and we solidify their body.
Flash, okay. Some freezing as well. This almost reminds me of perfect dark music. Never now it doesn't. <laughs> I spoke to way too soon. doing some really nice damage. Okay, we're- this is going really well. I don't want to jinx it. I'm gonna keep generating slime. Ness. No. Okay, they're already... They were already slimed, so I was unable to slime for a second time. Wow, that fight went very well. Holy shit. Gotta get that IQ up to 45 on Jeff. Almost. Oh baby, Pooh's leveling the fuck up. Apparently those dudes were supposed to slaughter me. And completely fucking wreck me. Ness had a short vision of seeing his mother when she was young. So he's... All those visions will be lost, like, moments in time, like, tears, like, rain, like, he's seeing, he's seeing his childhood. What, what does his childhood have to do with a giant foot and small foot? Let, you know, small foots. And then, well, I, I guess we'll find out soon enough. It's so bizarre that they would use the John Lennon. I mean, I hear it now, definitely. Now I can't unhear it. It's, um,. Very obviously, give peace a chance. It's- it's so- it's so good. But it's just baffling that it's even in there. So Pooh gets his first. Equip. So that's, um, for his arms, the Bracer of King. Well, that's a pretty good defense upgrade right there. He's, he's even more powerful than Paula. And he has no equipment except the Bracer at this point. Itoi was a fan of Lennon. That's why he named the Mother series Mother because of the Lennon song Mother. Jesus Christ, it all makes sense now. Man, all I had to do is go down that one thing to get the thing to poo to poo. But Mother, you had me, but I never had you. 
My favorite N64 game? Um, I don't know. I guess... Uh, Majora? I'd say Majora. It's, it's hard to say, because, uh, you know, Perfect Dark comes to mind. Mario 64. Ocarina. I mean, the usuals. The usual suspects. And then Winback comes to mind. I'm obviously, I'm kind of joking with Winback, but that game was pretty badass. That's a hard question. That's, that's a loaded question, and I resent that. I'm really enjoying my Banjo-Kazooie stream. I don't know if that counts towards favorite N64 game, but it's damn, it's damn close. It's up there. The Torok series is always up there, too. Every time someone in chat says Torok, the anticipation just grows for fucking Torok 2 on Steam. Least favorite N64 game. I've played a lot of shitty N64 games in recent years. Obviously Superman 64. It's like one of the worst. But in terms of ones I had when I was a kid... Oh man, um, probably Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey was the one that I, I owned that I enjoyed the least because I don't really watch or enjoy hockey. So, that was just a waste of money. Alright, so, let's do this. Um, oh, what's Jeff's IQ at the moment? Let's see. 41. We, we got a little ways to go yet. I'm back in Summers, and I don't really know where I'm going, uh, so let's just wander around. Have a wander. Oh, wait a minute. I think I remember. We gotta go to Egypt. Or fake Egypt. Just three hats. Three hats. Three magician top hats. That's where the three rabbits went, by the way, from earlier. But yeah, someone in chat said go to Summers, and I was like, wait a minute, why? And then I remembered people last time were talking about going to Scaraba. I think that's the name of it. Barriers? What do you mean barriers? They're top hats. This is where the rabbits live. You mean... Varias? Like, the Varia suit? I ain't never heard no word barrier before. Uh-oh. Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself! Get ready! Say it! Kind of landed on a yacht, isn't that fun? To 
get to Skoraba, you need to cross the sea. However, a monster named Kraken lives in the open sea. He attacks ships that pass through. Are you scared? Yes. Uh, I have a question. That stuff at Winters... ...that I didn't buy... Like, the equipment upgrades? Should I... Should I get that shit? Meow. Bow now, brown cow. If you come closer, I'll play the trumpet. I don't know how to play yet. Alright, we'll wait until I get to where I'm going. Thank you, you made my wife wake up. She quit talking about all that serious crap. Well, crap? Yeah, let's work hard. If you're courageous, get on this boat. You'll probably see the Kraken and experience getting seasick. After all, it could only cost your life. And you get that for free. Luck will determine the outcome of this voyage. So you want to sail the seas to Scaraba? 20 bucks per person. All right, we're reckless, baby. Bon voyage. I didn't expect to see the word crap in this game. Band. Oh god, this music. I like this music quite a bit. I like how this dude anticipates the Kraken. Wait! Wait, wait! I need to stop the boat. It's been a long time since I was out in the open sea, so... I feel seasick. Oh man, what am I gonna do? A sailor who gets seasick. As soon as he said seasick, I felt a slight stomach ache. It's over now, but that was very weird. How come you guys are alright? So that bald guy over there, your buddy, right? He came from Dalam? You guys must be quite the adventurers. <laughs> I'm feeling much better now. Anchors away! I was expecting Kraken. Here it comes! Just looks like the piranha plant from Mario Sunshine. Oh, now it doesn't. Shit, alright. So, I'm gonna just shield up in the meantime. Oh, fuck! Even shields don't protect against hurt feelings. used. Oh, this is not good. Yo, this boss sucks. Paul, no! Thank you. 
Stop that shit. I thought Secret Herb was a revive item. That's what I was told. Oh, this- this is- okay, people are saying that that's- that's a revive. And I wish I had, like, a really good item. Like a fucking bazooka. Oh, the strongest healing, not the life up. Okay, I thought life up was the one. Um, hang on. Alright, we, we need to reassess my moves here. Oh my god, Jeff, what the fuck? Didn't work. Didn't work, fuck. Okay, just, just live, Jeff. Live. Good. Alright, Jeff is live. Fuck, I'm out of PP. Well, this fight's gonna be... Fun. Six HP for him a picnic lunch. I do have life noodles, but I really wanted to get Paula up with that, but that's not happening. Um. There we go, now it's fucking crying. Jeff is gonna die. Who's gonna die? A rat. Try to paralysis this thing. Um, just, just keep sucking. Oh, here we go. You can paralysize. Do I have any revives on Ness? No. I can't bring Pooh and Paula back. Move again? And Ness is missing all the attacks. Jesus. Oh no, I can still just do some things. I can't do all things. Okay. That didn't work. That's not gonna work. Oh, this, this is a fucked up fight. And Ness keeps missing. I know why Ness is missing. Mm. 
Fuck yeah, you stop crying. Get a crit. Get crit, Ness. Oh, wow. Well, Jeff is gonna level the fuck up from that. Oh man, I thought you guys were just everyday little kids, but you defeated the Kraken. I also helped in the battle. I, I threw my slippers at the beast. Maybe you didn't notice. Almost ready for that bazooka. It's a good, good IQ increase. Ah, oh, I love transporting little kid corpses. Scary monster, or did you escape? Either way, you are fantastic. <laughs> hey, do you revive dead children? <laughs> you do. Wow, that's oddly specific. Why did you come to Ishtar? Don't. I swear to God. The Tenda tribe used to live here. They went back to the deep darkness as they were too innocent. I wonder if they are still alive. It's because these children are pawns. Welcome to the Great Southern International Resort Hotel. Uh, rooms range in price from 60 to 400. Right now, we only have Super Deluxe Suite available. Yeah, fine. Let us know if you find any scorpions. It's very unlikely that they will come out, but you never can tell. Oh, that sounds good. I'm How much am I spending for a fucking potential scorpion? Good morning, good sir. Please allow me to read you the, uh, from the local newspaper, the Scaraba Papyrus. Kraken, the evil sea monster, now gone forever. Well, there's some news here about. God, this really is it. This is Ishtar. Let me speak. Let me use my words. Welcome, welcome. Ah, the heat is your body, okay? Can I interest you in some of my merchandise? Banana. you buy something I've got a family to feed I love when shopkeepers I love when shopkeepers try to guilt you into buying their goods the mark of bad luck on your face no don't worry if you want to know I'll humbly tell you you shall come back here after you've encountered a dangerous situation however I may be wrong and if so a thousand pardons Seasonings. No, I'm good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sugar, right? To combine with something? Sugar packet. What the hell? I love this music. It's so weird. The 
it just stopped trying at that point. How do you, um, how do you do this? You just hit use and... Good, good job, Paula. It adds it automatically in combat? Okay. I bought the piggy nose. This will help out a large amount. But I am humbly searching for the magic truffle in the deep darkness. You too can learn how to use a piggy nose with the use command under goods. Okay. Uh oh. Pictures taken instantaneously. Fuzzy Pikles! I still have a search for Jack Blackcock on my, um, browser. I didn't close the tab, apparently. For those that are d d new to the stream or have not been here earlier, were not here earlier, it's because I was wondering what movie that line was from. So, I found out. 40-year-old virgin. Damn. So here's some upgrades. Wow. Waste. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade as many people as I can, but I need to... Let me get some money. God, that music is good. I'm depositing $10,000 in cash. I, I will try to buy a little piggy nose. But all I see is soup and kebabs and shit. Uh, let's see. Someone else has to have the piggy nose, but here, let's let's buy this bat so that I may smash more animals. Mr. Baseball Bat. Okay, get rid of that, and now we need... What'll it be? We need platinum bands. We need silly bands. What were those fucking things that were in the shapes of things? That you put around your wrists? What were those called? Wacky bands? Or something? What the hell was the point of that shit? I mean, I get it. You know, it's cool and stuff. I don't- actually, I'm kidding. I don't actually get it. Because once- once it's on your wrists- Oh, there's the piggy nose. Once it's on your wrists, there's no more- You don't see the animal anymore. You don't see the shape. Not slap bands. They're like... Silly, silly bands or something? Animal bracelets? Yeah. They were called silly bands with a Z. Okay, wrist cock rings. Thank you, Amazonator. Good info. <laughs> Broken cannon. So that broken cannon is that that's probably not as good as the bazooka, right? Okay. 
I just need one more level for Jeff. We could just grind a little bit and then get that fucking thing made. It's the weapon upgrade for Jeff. Oh, I see. No, I have one. I have one. Sorry, the dude's just offering snakes. Snake sack. So, I'm just gonna kill a few fuckers. Sorry, feckers. Shit. It's the things from Chrono Cross. What, what were they called? Great Crust Crusted Puka. What were they called in Chrono Cross? Um, the, the dragons in the beginning that you have to get the scale of? How do, how do I. Desert, you're playing Chrono Cross, aren't you? You, you know. What's it called? It's like a com Komodo? It's not a Komodo, is it? It's just a Komodo. Don't be my friend! They just called it a Komodo. Okay. Have you played Chrono Cross before, Desert? Or is this your first... Is it your first time? Sphinx. It's, it's a good game. It's a good game. It's just it takes a little bit of patience. But the fun thing about Chrono Cross and Chrono Trigger, once you finish them, is all the speculation that you can do for the next five years of your life. By reading Chrono Compendium forever. Trying to figure out what happened to certain characters, and what the story even means. I tried my best, I still don't think I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, obviously fire's not gonna work. I don't know why I thought it would, but it was my best option. You know what, I could... I could use some side gaming here. Cause I'm just... Grinding a little bit just to get Jeff to get his fucking bazooka. Okay, Ness leveled up. Paula leveled up. Pooh leveled up. No Jeff. Bastard Jeff. Also, I am aware of the number of HP that Ness has. I'm well aware. We just need, like, one more battle. Before I attempt this area, I would like to have a nice equipment upgrade for Jeff. Oh, fuck UFOs in the desert. I knew it. Any, uh, I, did I just, uh, activate repressed memories? <laughs> I, I snuck it in. That would have worked better if I was killing that little dragon fella. 
but I just, I took the opportunity as soon as I could. It should have been the X-Files theme. Royal Iced Tea. Wait, if I use the rock candy, is that a permanent upgrade? High-class UFO? What the fuck is the difference? Oh, it is a permanent upgrade. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. It's a little bit more grinding than I expected to do. Uh, I don't want to go down too far for some reason. Okay, never mind. It's too late now. It's too late! Um, let's use it on Paula. It's pretty good. Paula's IQ went up by two. Fuck. She's not the one that needs the- well, actually, that- I think- No, that, that won't really do a whole lot for her. Wait, does- does Paula's IQ help her with her magic? Her Psy? So it'll help her, actually. That's good. She is a psi focused character, so that's gonna be good for her. Jeff is on the very cusp of leveling. On the rim, you could say. Speaking of rims... My, uh... That playlist. There we go. Fuck. Jeff didn't get the IQ. God! God damn it. really wanted to, um... I re really wanted to get rid of those uh, broken items. Or replace them. There's an EXP worm in the desert. I will find the EXP worm. As soon as Paula stops suffering from death, There's another caterpillar in this desert. Okay. Alright, let's let's find that. I'm gonna do the things I gotta do. But before I do that, I wanna just get a free... I wanna get a free heals. So... I've been keeping busy with my Spotify playlist that I made. The public one. And, uh, it's... it's 30 hours almost now? 450 songs about. Of course, I had to update it with songs from the Real Genius soundtrack. I forgot to put the Screaming Trees on there. And there's still plenty of other bands I totally forgot. So I'm just kind of like slowly as I remember adding as, uh, as the, the memory of what song I missed. Um, sorry. Returns to me. There's also some bands that I really want on there, but aren't on Spotify. Let's go find that caterpillar. Whoops! 
Oh fuck, even- <laughs> even with teleport 2, you can still do that to yourself. I didn't sleep too well last night. You're gonna love this. So, I have oil heating, right? Because it's old house. Boiler. Fucking thing isn't working last night. Freezing. Freezing house! So... So this dude is knocking to fix the boiler. Just knocking and knocking and knocking. So finally, and I had nothing to do with this decision, but it, you know, obviously you gotta get the thing fixed. So, thing gets fixed. Then my house is basically making noises like this. Because oil heat is a fucking very noisy form of heat. So the pipes are basically fighting each other. It's like the duel of Luke and Vader in Cloud City. It's a fucking battle for the ages between the pipes. Loud, disgusting duck noises. Um, well not duck noises, it just- it just sounds like someone's fighting. And- and just getting pushed against, like, pipes. So yeah, it sucked. I didn't sleep very well. I try- and that's the thing, like, when- apparently, when they first fix the thing, um, the- the pipes have to, like, heat up again or something, and they- they get used to it. I don't really understand how it works. I, I'm not sure. That- that was what I was told. And I think that was just like... Yeah, oil heat fucking sucks, but we're- we're- we're just gonna, you know... We're just gonna make sure that you- you... Don't transfer over to anything more... Efficient. I don't think I can sleep with the earmuffs on. It's like you're just so used to a certain way of sleeping that... Like, I tried to sleep with earplugs. It's too fucking weird, man. The banging noise of the pipes expanding from being heated. If no heat was going through them, they were probably pretty cold. Uh, you know what? That- that's pretty much... ...what it was, actually. So yeah, you're right, Char, but the thing about it was, it was just, um... It was bad. It was most of the day. Like, even when I got home, it was still happening, so... Those pipes is, Those pipes is, were very cold. I do have- I- I have use, um, white noise. I have, like, a fan. And like, um, an ionizer that makes white noise. That's what I'm saying, like, I try to sleep with white noise. I gotta bring, like, a portable white noise machine with me if I'm gonna... Thief, warrior, or one who's come to see my majesty, you must decide what you really are, therefore what you will do. I don't know. What is the Spotify playlist named? You can search Vinny Vine Sauce, you might find it. Or I, I've called it- Get this. Here's the name of my playlist. I've, I've finally found the, the perfect name for it. Vines Sauce. Oh, good guts, Paula. Vinny, you said you committed those numbers to memory. Yeah, for one specific stream. It was... Um... You know, that was a few days ago.
Yes. That's the one desert, yeah. Warriors, enter now. Search for the Hawkeye. Okay, I, I want to enter, but I still want to find the Caterpillar. So, uh, is the Caterpillar in this section, or is it below the river? easy. You can store the hieroglyphics copy. Okay, good. Who's level one up? We probably only need to kill one. Caterpillar. If, wow. I was, like, trying to grind before, and the enemies just weren't spawning. And now I can't fucking get away from these enemies. This the run- oh my god, the run percentage in this game is fucking... ...severe garbage. Very disappointing. I, I like games where the run percentage is high. Because it, it should be your, you know, your choice. You could run, but you're gonna fuck yourself later. why the, the Chrono Cross system of running is pretty cool. Because y you can run from every single enemy, but every now and then... Every now and then, you, you an enemy will, like, chase you, and you have to fight them. It's, it's rare. You can even run from bosses in Chrono Cross. And if you're underprepared, you can come back to them. It's amazing. I don't know, people give Chrono Cross some shit for its battle system. I thought it was pretty good, actually. I thought it was well... It was interesting, it was a little different. It had some pretty good mechanics. It took the best of Chrono Trigger and did something a little different with it. I don't think it's my favorite RPG battle system of all time, but it's, uh, it's pretty good. Pretty! Pretty! Good. So I'm being told it's... Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, gotcha. There you go, Jeff. There Fuck you, Jeff! This game is gonna become so easy. I can't believe this. Two levels, and no IQ. It really is stupid easy. I could probably... Really though, this this is not a, a very difficult grind. I didn't want to grind in this game 40 minutes ago, but now I really want to get Jeff's shit. Yeah, 
No, you don't need bazooka that badly, but it's it's kind of just nice before I go forward to have the thing and also to fix the other thing I have all in one shot. I don't know, I just thought it was going to be easy. Now I'm like too invested in this to go back. I'll try it. Listen, I'm going to get one more caterpillar. If Jeff levels, great. If he doesn't, we'll move on and we'll, we'll get the experience on the way. Healing Alpha Cure Sunstroke? Okay. So that was a waste. Ooh, UFOs. Alright, um... Do I freeze? I have the newest freeze. I don't know why I didn't just stick with one target. High class UFO fucked. Royal Ice Tea. Come on, Caterpillar. Just one more Caterpillar. Pawns. Pawns. I already used the rock candy. On Paula. <laughs> you can't just go around fucking UFOs like that, Vinny. What do you mean? Mulder does it. It's got a really rare spawn rate, doesn't it? Also, apparently there's poop in the top right. I apologize, I know grinding isn't that entertaining. But I never promised entertainment. Pokey stink still hangs in the air. What the hell? Be careful where you walk, it's filthy. A chubby kid did his business out here somewhere. Really? Doing this as a hobby. Isn't it cool? I recently made a friend. He used to be a dungeon maker, and now he's a dungeon man. Would you like to meet him? Alrighty, then I'll give you the key so you can enter him. Enter him? Oh no, I don't have it. I must have lost it somewhere. Sorry, I don't know where about the small things. Enter me. It's the dungeon man's voice, I think. Caterpillar here. What happened to Subtlety? He's the dungeon man. That was- the, the dude literally just said, enter him. What the fuck does that mean? Spawn rate. Here it is. I think this is going to be a Jeff level up two, maybe? No, okay. 
All right. As Phil Collins once said, I don't care anymore. But we'll just, um... We'll just do the thing but when the thing happens. The status... No, he's still not ready yet. 44. He's one away. However, Jeff will probably end up fixing... Yeah, the broken cannon. It's, it's now the spectrum beam, so he's got a new gun. There's that. Cannon... That'll happen a little bit later. It's, um... Spectrum beam. It's pretty good. Pretty good upgrade. And let's get S-Cargo Express. Get rid of... That thing. And also... Apparently I can get rid of the hieroglyphics too, so... No, I, I definitely didn't put any IQ capsules at S Cargo. I would have used them. Someone want a pizza? Get rid of the hieroglyph. Let's get rid of hyperbeam. And the fuck do I have a piggy nose for? I really don't know. I know the bazooka isn't equipable, but it's a use item. I thought it might be especially cool. I pressed the wrong button. Why did the delivery man have wax lips? Have you seen some of the other characters in this game? I mean, you want to talk about wax lips? There's some fucking weird faces. Red Scalpion. That sounds kind of... <laughs> that sounds like a band. How, how much is this water? It's very expensive. Oh, God. <laughs> Get ready for an instant memory. Oh. <laughs> uh. Let's just say the fucking thing. Say- you know what to say, kids! The ending of this game is gonna be each one of those pictures, isn't it? It's just, like, he's gonna show up at the end and he's gonna be like, here's your memories. I don't wanna know if I'm right, but I- that's my guess. Most games do, like, a little reel of all the areas that you've been to and the enemies and stuff. Oh, that's- I'm actually fighting a fucking hieroglyph, I like that. Not any hieroglyph, mind you, but a fucking hieroglyph. I think I curse a lot. I 
I say poo-poo words more than I should. Paula's gaining some of those levels she missed out on earlier. Hello? It's your dad. Just turn off the game. <laughs> Ta-da! There's a viper inside. Paula takes it. Oh, that's- that's what the snake thing is about? Asp. Gonna get inside that ass, Larry. <laughs> Gotta climb inside the ass pole, Larry. Ooh, that is a good fucking move. Not too bad. I could, I could just take it out with regular attacks. Our vine saws, are you from New Jersey? No, New York. Well, Staten Island is close enough to Jersey. I have the worst of both worlds. Nah, <laughs> I kind of like it here. I, I really do. Like I said, the people can get a little bit, uh, fun at times. Traffic can get fun, etc, etc, etc. If you've ever watched Jersey Shore, you kind of have an idea of, of some of the folks that we have here. But, generally I'm content. There's parks. It's close to the city. It's good food. So you... You get the best and worth, worst. Worst. Worth? You get the best and worst of both worlds. Hmm. Totally inconspicuous sarcophagus. It's gonna be fine. Ever had a problem because of Vsauce? No, I get that question a lot. I haven't answered it in a few months, so I'll kind of delve into it. Uh, we s I started Vine Sauce YouTube channel February of 2010. I think the Vsauce channel started um, in May. They had information on their YouTube page that they started in, in like May or June of 2010. Again, I'm not really sure. How true that is, but what I'm trying to say is, even if we, I did start a little bit after them, they were too small for me to have known about them. So yeah, it's it's um, I don't know if Vsauce is actually aware of of the word vines. I'm sure they are. I'm sure someone said something at some point, but they're um, they're doing well. So I'm sure they wouldn't have a problem with some fella named Vine Sauce. But if you want, um, science facts, I can- I can read a textbook. I could like, brush up on my science a little bit. And try to present you with some informations on my next stream.
It should be noted that the name Vsauce was generated randomly. Oh, really? Fierce Shattered Man. That is actually probably the scariest looking enemy yet. Also, the Guardian Hieroglyph is, is just directly behind him. Ice works really well. Pooh caught a cold. <laughs> I like how the thing just gave Pooh a cold. Vulnerable to fire. Bring back Newt News. Sweet. Wow, that really... I was getting Newt news, like Carl was getting monkey news, but there's not much going on in the Newt world these days, so I'm not really sure what aspects to cover if I were to bring back Newt news. There was just a dude who used to come to the stream, I, I, I don't know if he still does, but he was really obsessed with Newts, and he, he used to like give me Newt facts, and I'm pretty sure we talked about everything you could possibly talk about when it comes to newts. Subject is is done. Newt newt. N E W T. Newt newt. If you heard that, I tried to mute before it became an issue. I don't know if I did in time. Newt crate. Yeah, I think we did a newt crate thing too. You guys remember the stuff that happens on the stream better than I do. My house smells like scallions a little bit, by the way, and it's kind of annoying. And I like scallions. But when I cooked cooked with them yesterday, and like I had leftovers, they just kind of like... Now, now my house is just scallions. Not that you needed that information. <clears throat> Gold Ruby, you used to be a good chatter. What happened to you? D did I upset you? Tell me, what what did, what did the big bad streamer do to you? How dare you quote Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull to me? That's just terrible. That's just, that's, that's... Unforgivable. <laughs> kind of blowing through a lot of my pee pee.
I might actually have to heal. I might have, or not heal, but go back to town for a little bit because of the way I'm, I'm using my magic. It's Okay, uh, let's see what's going on here. Nope. Someone went up by three, but it wasn't Jeff. I, I think I'll be fine. I have- I have HP items. Oh my god, look at those crits. Try using magnet? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, I don't like this. Um, fuck. Petrified Royal Guard. Um, okay, I'm gonna need to spy on this thing. Let's get some of that PP back if possible. And, uh, Pooh, do you have magnet? Yeah, Pooh's got magnet too. Never mind. <laughs> these enemies, these enemies don't have pee pee. F freeze and paralysis. Hypnosis. I've not really done hypnosis. do we have here? Um, Piggy's nose. Again, no idea why I even have this. Pharaoh's curse. It's fine. Petrified guard's body has solidified. That's rich. Oh my god, Jeff. That one HP. Alright, um, <clears throat> let me take a look at this. I have some more items. The highest quality tea by Mr. T. start using a little bit of this stuff. Viper. When used, it bites the enemy and disappears. It always poisons the enemy. Alright. Also, someone gave me a little bit of advice. I'm gonna try to follow it now, actually, but let's see. What is Pharaoh's Curse? Whose enemy may be poisoned. Okay. Truffle again. 
80. That, that's definitely good for a boss battle. In a pinch. May revive a friend. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, uh... RNG revive. Capsule. Cup of life noodles. <laughs> when you use the Viper, it spits hundreds of rap songs a day, every day. I like that. That's my kind of item. Viper is biting. Oh, I mean, it's free poison. We're, we're, you know, it's not like um, toxic from Devito, but it's it's every little bit, every little bit counts. Wow! Finally, Jeff. And then it goes up by four. Like, couldn't it have gone up by increments of one? That would have been so much more useful. Real Jeff keeps showing up to the stream. Well, he's here. He just watched. Jeff, thank you for watching the streams. It's nice of you. I didn't know you could be in a video game and watch the streams, but it's pretty cool. Alright, we have a bit of a boss battle. Let's just see if Magnet will work. I spy on the fucker. Let's give him the big freeze. I'm gonna use the big bottle rocket. You know what? Got a bag of Dragonite here. turned into a gigantic fire-breathing dragon. Wait, this wasn't a boss? Some, some good chat advice I got there. Definitely worth it. I mean, there was boss-ish music. And he was big and purple. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, it was a mini-boss. So, I mean, there was still some use. He had high defense, low HP. 
Okay, so he was gonna be a fucking pain in the ass to fight just because of his defense. I mean, his defense was massive. Just like his pecs. He's giving Buzz Swallow a run for his money. Rain Pendant. Every time that noise happens, it, it's just a fucking like. Like your heart just sinks. Because you know someone's gonna die. Likely. Ominous noise plays. I know what I know what's gonna happen. Now I'm gonna have to fight a boss. And it's gonna suck. Be nice to each other, dudes. Be excellent to each other. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the bazooka fix. Let's see what items I have. I've got one Dragonite, I've got Guts, I've got the Speed Capsule. Let's use Speed Capsule on Ness. Yeah, John Hurt. Rest in peace, John Hurt. He was, um, amazing in Elephant Man, Carl's favorite movie. He's also amazing in Fee for Vendetta. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Alright, now I'm bringing it up. No, but really, John Hurt was amazing, and, um, he passed away. Like I said, it sucks. Even 2017, did you- could you believe it? Wow. 78 years old. Was cool in chat just said people are still dying. What the fuck? I thought that stopped. Really want that bazooka fixed. I'm gonna use the big bottle rocket on this fight. Like I said, it just uh, you know you gotta you gotta just get used to it and kind of know how to roll with the punches and, and not let it ruin your entire day, if possible. That's that's my advice for myself. If it helps for you, then great. But yeah. Um, I guess I could exit this, this schlop house. Well. Never mind. I'm gonna have to fight all the way out and then all the way back in. 
Magic truffle. Yeah, the magic truffle. I, I was hoping to save that, but I'm, I'm probably going to end up using it depending on what this next fight is like. So let's just keep going. Fuck are you? There's something on the platform. Do you want to get it? Yeah. The boulder's going to start chasing me now. Hawkeye. Hawkeye, what a miracle. Now you can see in the dark. I... Damn it. I tried. I tried. I was like, maybe I could get past this fucker, but no. Ness is an Avenger, confirmed. Oh, man. Who wants some Avengers loot boxes? That's useful. Some patented, exclusive Avengers gear. Like Vienna sausages. Like spam. Like balut. Avengers balut and duck anus. Very cool. Vienna Sausage is your second favorite streamer. Yeah, they kind of- Vienna Sausage kind of stole the Vine Sauce gimmick, which is that, um, they suck. Intentionally and non-intentionally. And that is part of the- the allure. Yeah, I don't like this fight very much. You know, part of me didn't really want to mention the time I tried to shill Loot Crate. But I think it's 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 a story worth telling. So I signed up for Loot Crate on my own. This is when it was a brand new thing. Like before it became a joke to like actually shill a box. Yeah, it was like three years ago. And um the only thing they, they said was, um, I, cause... I got in touch with them, and they were like, Oh, you're a streamer. Do you, do you want to get five dollars per box sold? And all that crap? Or whatever it was, it was some st stupid amount. I was like, well, if I'm getting it anyway, sure. So, I figured, let me give it a shot. And... So I started opening these things on stream. And the problem was... They sucked, so I didn't have a whole lot good to say about them. Like, every now and then there was one thing maybe that I liked, but they sucked so much that I couldn't say something good. 
And then, of course, I got to the point where I was like, this, this is really a waste. It was endless trash. Um, obviously, people weren't happy about it because they didn't want to see... They, didn't, they wanted to see me be stupid and bad at video games. They didn't want to see fucking Avengers cock socks. So, I stopped after, I think, two times, maybe. And then I emailed the people at Loot Crate. I was like, hey, um, I can't do this. They're like, what do you mean? I was like, I'm not a salesman. I can't do this. I tried. I'm not good at shilling. I don't want to shill. Sorry. He was like, well, you can have it anyway. I was like, what, you're, what do you mean? He's like, just tell your friends. So I got it for a little while. They kept sending me loot crates. For like, a few months. And... Without me, like actually having to show them and tell people to buy them and stuff. And, um, so I ended up just, like, accumulating a crate of useless shit. And that was good for Christmas presents. So, I ended up, um, learning, one, that I can't sell shit. I don't want to, anyway. I'm doing fine without having to sell anything and take fucking underhanded, weird deals. So, I'm lucky for that and grateful, but also, at the time, I was in a little bit of financial trouble. So I gave it a shot. I figured, hey, you know, people want to do this, why not? See if they're interested in loot crap. But it was, um... It was fine. I ended up being fine. I ended up getting my, you know, I had plenty of savings. Which is a very important lesson. Always save up, kids. Always. But Loot Crate was definitely one of those things that I'm glad I had the experience to learn that it sucked cock so that I wouldn't do something like that again. And then it became a fucking... Then Boogie started doing it. Like, fucking... Various giant YouTubers started, like, all these subscription boxes. You know? I mean, sure, it's offering a product. Like, if you want, you know, for a certain amount per month, you do get things. Um, but I don't know if the value was really worth it. Like, honestly, it was kind of just a bunch of knickknacks and trinkets and socks and Pikachu socks and weird stuff like that. It made for good Christmas presents, because then I could just give them to my friends. It's like, oh, this friend likes Firefly, this friend likes Pokemon, this friend likes Terminator, this friend likes this. So I was really happy that I had gifts to give people. But, um, yeah, then they just eventually stopped sending me shit. And that was fine. No complaint. I still can't believe how, how crazy and, and how many mystery boxes there are. By the way, the reason I'm mentioning this, if you want to know why, real quick, before we continue. On YouTube, in YouTube, type Red Letter Media Nerd Crew Episode 2. Or just Red Letter Media's newest video as of right now, which is Nerd Crew Episode 2. Click that, watch it. It is one of the funniest fucking things. They have Rich Evans opening nerd boxes at the end, and he doesn't know what items are inside, and it's beautiful. Are you saying you didn't want a subscription to literal endless trash? No. No, I mean, I've learned over time. As a streamer, as a person, I've, I've learned things that I, I don't want to do and I don't feel comfortable with. Uh, I've learned... You know, obviously there was recent thoughts that kind of bring me back to these thoughts. But I can just say that I'm, I'm very happy with who I am and where I'm at now. And I think things are going to stay like this. So, you might have to deal with me talking about one of my albums every now and then. But that's only maybe once a year. So, uh, yeah. That's about it. Or a Vine Sauce plushie from time to time, but that's your fucking choice. I don't know if you want that crap. We finally meet Prince Pooh. The stars foretold that I would meet you here. So now it's time to show you the way of the Star Storm. For a while, you must live far away from your friends and live with me. Do you understand? There's only one answer. I must stop you here, even if you don't want to. Stay with me for a while, do you understand? It is important that I study and learn the Star Storm. It will be most helpful to us. Once I learn it, I'll meet up with you, Ness. Trust me, I will see you again. Depends on Pooh's efforts that will determine the reuniting of the group. Be faithful and wait until the time comes. 
So, here, I'm- I'm a bald, creepy tornado guy. Come with me, child. And t and come with and live with me for a certain amount of time, and I, I I'll teach you something, fam. I swear. Well, at least he restored our stuff. You already met him in Dalam. Oh, that was that guy. I couldn't tell his sprite was from behind. So I wasn't- I wasn't able to determine if that was a new sprite. Since I'm dealing with some pretty rough stuff, I can't run my business to town. In town. Now I can just buy the fucking bazooka. It's not the same bazooka, your bazooka is better. Okay. That's good. Um... sure if it was the dungeon man, but there's a strange looking tower to the northwest, the key I picked up a little while ago. Shall maybe open the tower. You may have it. I do not need it. Hmm. So, I have a question. If I teleport the fuck out of here, I'm gonna have to go through that whole thing again, right? Multi-bottle rockets. I'm curious about the studio for Redbox. How does it work financially? Joe owns the studio. I pay Joe per session. He records us. That's all I got. You can save in Dungeon Man. Go in. Okay. Alright, so let's- let me buy some multi-bottle rockets. Or one, at least. Um, let's see. Maybe we can run away from this one? Nope. I should note that I am grateful. I, I don't want to seem ingrateful that... Ungratefuls. <laughs> I don't want to seem like an ingrate that Loot uh, Crate was sending me free shit. Like, uh, that, was, that was cool. That was cool of them. I just, again, I didn't need any of that shit. And I, I am trying out the Blue Apron thing so I can kind of learn how to cook a little bit and eat better and not have to fucking, um... You know, go shopping for stuff. So, I mean, I get the utility. It's just the nerd crate stuff that I don't really think is worth it. I think that, that stuff is a little bit... Trash. It's pretty trash. Unless you like knickknacks, in which case, good for you. Welcome, you are inside of my body. Ah. 
My statistics show about 70% of the people go to the right first. Well, there's a sign here. So keep this board in mind. Even though you can't get up there now, you might be able to later. Killer presence. Holy shit. Well, there's stuff in here. If you check into this bench, it's like checking into a hotel. Oh. I don't think Jeff fixed the bazooka, so we'll, we'll keep trying. There it is. Heavy bazooka. There he is! Oh, I'm sorry, J-Man. Did I, did I say something that you didn't like? He says, based on my one experience, I've come to the conclusion that all things classified as this are bad, in quotes. Yes, I have a, an opinion that I, I don't like... Um... Crates of, of knickknacks. From my experience. That's my stream. I can, you know, I can say that on my stream. You okay with that? Do I need permission first? I could buy a fuckload of things right now. I'm, I'm gonna not do that. Um, I think... I think I'm good. Well, yeah, J-Man's pretty much been shitposting since he got here, so I think, uh... It's all good. And I just posted a Kappa with a cat ear. Let's double save. I mean, I'm kind of, at this point, neglecting the fact that, uh... I'm actually inside so Oh, come on! That was bullshit! I fucking looked away! Oh. Well, th these are all things from various places in the game that aren't necessarily right now. Oh my god! There were so few presents before. Now there's so many. Let's just try side gaming. It's Vinny's three favorite things. What? Music, coffee, and a butt plug? <laughs> I'm... Mm. You, you do realize... You do realize that I'm fighting loot crates with a bunch of knickknacks. I said that I think subscription crates and subscription boxes are garbage, and look what's happening. I deserve this. I, I absolutely deserve this. Your first goal is to reach the four ropes. I, I don't know how much I could trust these signs. Like, I'm, I'm not exactly sure who, who these signs are written by. And it's all, like, low-level garbage enemies, too. Except the coffee. The coffee's kind of fucking annoying. 
<laughs> no, they're, they're doing some damage. They're doing some damage. Now they were... I think these are leveled up versions. This is, like, seriously the entire time I'm battling. This is what it sounds like. I'm wearing out... the ZL button. Just too much crap. Who was my inventory? Uh, so much stuff. See, brain food lunch is good. I don't want to waste that. Super bomb, uh, it's, fuck. The, inf the bazooka is the in infinite use super bomb. I mean, I just, all right, let me, let me do a few battles and then I'll maybe see if I can get a present or two, but, um, there's soup in there. I'm not sure what the soup does. The soup is a mediocre healing item. Okay, never mind. So we don't need that then. Room right now. Just who am I? What is life all about? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you nervous? I'm not dangerous. Don't worry. Yeah, ex existential crisis is being presented to me by people in a locked bathroom stall. That's why I play Earthbound. Life noodles is, is good. Quite a long walk. Well, now I definitely want to get rid of something. Well, this is a bathroom inside someone's body, so, I mean... Where does the poop go? You vine- you vine sauce toilet account members are finding new and interesting ways to sneak yourself into my video games. Items that are easy to get are usually disappointing. <laughs> okay, so the creator is just breaking the fourth wall. So there's a snake inside. Definitely could pocket that. There's the four ropes. Don't be a slacker. If you work hard, you'll get good stuff. Couldn't agree more with the opinion on the left board. Okay. Super plush bear. No, I want that. I want that. That's good. Poo, but we have a teddy bear now. It's a poo bear, if you will. <clears throat> I'll be here all week. All week. What in Christ's name is happening up here? I don't think I don't see that yellow submarine. The grass is always greener on the other rope. I wonder why that is. Every one of these. Okay. Okay. 
Well, I just looked at the time, and I realized that it is actually time to get the fuck off the internet. So I'm gonna do that. Um, this is this is a very weird area. I'm assuming there's there's gonna be a bunch more gameplay that will take a little while to get through. At least another 10, 20, 30 minutes. I don't know. So. Um, I guess time flies when you're having fun. Totally, totally forgot to even look at the time. But, uh, oh my god, $116,000. Okay, well, that's more than my life is worth, so... It's nice to see that a group of babs have that, <laughs> that much money. But, yeah, this is probably a good place to stop. We'll discover the secret of the man that we're inside of on the next Earthbound stream. So, yeah. We'll do that then. I know one ever left alive in 1985. Will I ever do? Let's do art. Before I do art, though, I do want to show you a little little something. Which is, uh, just, just a little something. A few, a few little somethings. It's already open. Uh, it, it looks like it came open, uh, during shipping. Um, uh, that's... I'm sure that never happens, uh, most no, of the time, though. It's very rare. Right? Yeah, very oh rare. God, very just, cool. It just ripped off. I'm shocked. Look at look at all of this goodness in here. We 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 have uh, a, a, a bin of 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 Avengers hot dogs. Uh, uh, look at I, that. Oh my God. That are those Vienna sausages? <laughs> yes, they're they're not cut up hot. Are they gray in the middle? <laughs> Like I think I think these I think these <laughs> went bad <laughs> during shipping. <laughs> I, they, <laughs> I I mean, smell great. <laughs> it's it's a great product. It's truly it's really great. Oh, it smells um, in here now. Now we we have a a, a Batman um, a wallet with with what? stickers of of Batman on it. Um. On the back, you can see products that have nothing to do with superheroes. Well, I, I'm sure uh, that might have been I'm an not, accident. I'm not. I'm not sure. Hold on, I have my BBA watch. <laughs> okay. 